Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! It's me, Cooper, and today I have decided that we are going to go to the Slifer Red Dorm real quick, and we are going to skip a little time, not too much. It's just important that we move the day along, as it's been a very long first day. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but we're still in the first day. This is not how you advance time yet. This is how you advance time. So I would like to go all the way to... I would say 7 o'clock. I think 7 o'clock would be good. Because I think 7 o'clock is dinner time for the Slifer Red Dorm. So, if we're willing to go inside here... Yeah! Everybody's here! This is your best chance to talk to everybody and find a character you seem to like. And first things first, let's talk to the Professor Lyman Banner. Ah, oh, hello Cooper. How are things? Studying hard? Eh, kinda. You're the one I want to talk to. Hey, who are you? I'm Terrence. I may not look it, or <laughs> I look like it, but I'm from Slifer Red. You're from Slifer Red too, right? Just like me. Nice to meet ya. I always uh, understand what's being said in class, but there's one thing I just can't figure out. Mr. Velian is always saying the word slacker. What does it mean? Is that the name of some cool car? Oh, you precious baby boy. You precious child. Oh my god. Okay, let's duel. I want to understand what you do. Alright, you want to try out your deck? That's fine by me. Let's see how we do against good old Terrence here. A kid that really just is happy to be here at school. And thinks that everyone thinks that he's not in Slifer Red. And he just... <laughs> He just doesn't, he just doesn't understand the cruelty that's going on around him. Everyone else is being insulted by Crowler and everything. And he's just like, I wonder what that Crowler guy is always talking about. Fair play is his deck. All right, let's see what you got, buddy. Let's see what you got. Um, he's got some fusions. That's interesting. A fusion deck. I'm going to set up Maiden of the Aqua just in case I need Dark Magician Girl for something. If not, I got two beaters and a very tactical monster in my hand. Oh, do you run Rabbit Horseman? That'd be pretty cool. Mystic Horseman, sadly, is not going to do the work. I did get to set up Umi, but it's not real Umi, it's fake Umi. He takes 700 burn, which is nice for me. Oh, that's going to help both of us, but that's a really good idea. So, he... Oh, no, it's not. That was a huge, huge misplay. All right. Well, since this is the way he wants to play it, I'm going to go ahead and summon the Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness. Um, I could have done Dark Magician Girl, but I don't know. I just, I like having Maid in there, making me feel safe. So, poor little Terrence is like, damn, you're pretty good. But I also get to use your two-man battle cell, and, oh, whoops, don't need to check details on that. Uh, and, sorry buddy, I actually do have two monsters, one being my giant red sea snake. So unless you have some amazing spells and traps, you're going to go down. And I'll let you know right now, you're wearing Slifer Red. You don't- Oh my god. I am impressed, Terrence. That's the kind of card I'm looking for. That is quite good. Oh, that's bad. Uh, not bad either. Alright, Terrence. Okay. I see you now. I see the, uh, the possibilities that you have in you. So I'm going to summon Dark Magician Girl, because everyone wants to see her anyway. And then I'm going to give a, my monster a stim pack. Now the monster I'm giving a stim pack is in fact going to be my giant red sea snake. That way Dark Magician Girl is not targeted. And then I'm going to go in. So sorry, your, your card is very powerful. I just happen to have my equip spell. If I didn't, I would have had to destroy Dark Magician Girl just to beat your level 4 Berserk Gorilla. Which is a really good card. When I was dueling my friends, we were opening up all those uh, packs. I can't remember which pack he came in, but we, I think maybe Invasion of Darkness or something. Oh, yeah, I meant yes, damn it, yeah, it's fine. Uh, yeah, I want to go easy on Terrence anyway. Invasion of Chaos. Oh, he's got an Inken Dog, that's not bad. Oh, I should have stopped the Heart of the Underdog, but whatever. And End Phase, let's see what he does with his End Phase. Two-man Battle Cell, he's actually going to use it this time. No, 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 I want to see an Ken Dog. Yeah, hey there, buddy. It's not a bad card at all. But yeah, no, that, that freaking Gorilla card is really powerful. So I'm going to summon my Hyper Hammerhead, and then we're going to start attacking. So, you attack you. He hasn't really shown any big defenders, so I'm going to go with Dark Magician Girl. They seem to be more aggressive. Oh, that is a pretty good defender, but it's not good enough. It's good to know that he has defensive monsters. I didn't take a peek at his hand while I had a chance there. That was a mistake on my part. We're going to do 2300 damage, and I'm going to end my turn. 
Yeah, you would have survived even if I didn't have Violent Rain. Oh no, I might have attacked in a different order. You might. Nah, you would have lived. So, here's Violent Rain. I ask you not to attack my Violent Rain as it'll make me sad. You don't want to make me sad, do you? Oh, he's got Stone D in his deck! Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god, he's got Stone D. Alright, well now that that's a little too much there, buddy boy. If you get to Stone D, I'll be in trouble. Not really, I have Hyper Hammerhead, but, you know, I want him to feel like I'd be in trouble. I want him to feel like he had a chance in this duel, because I'm feeling bad. So, you can't draw again. Stone D's good enough. Dark Factory of Mass Production's very good. Get back your Ninken Dog. Sure, Mystic Horseman too. I mean, if you have Rabbit Horseman, that'll be something. Nope, just Ninken Dog. Sorry about this, Violent Rain. You're not gonna last. Oh, he's... You precious kid. You precious kid. I am so sorry. I didn't know you were like this. I... Oh, it's because you could special summon it in defense mode. I like that. I like what you're attempting, but you could have had two monsters. And I, I don't know if you can count to two yet, but I'm gonna help. Don't worry. We're gonna use a little giant Trunade. The reason I'm doing this is to go for maximum damage this turn. I'm gonna activate this, because we'll get extra money for more damage, I believe. I don't know that as a fact, I just believe it. We're gonna attack with the giant red sea snake. And then we're gonna attack with Dark Magician Girl. I could have won with Exact, so I could have also won that one. Eh, whatever. 2700 max attack damage. I'm sure it's not too much money lost because I didn't go for exact damage. I, I'm surprised you lost too. You tried so hard and got so far. Uh, bow damage only bonus. Uh, nope. I next time just go for exact damage. Oh, wait, no, here it is. Uh, maximum monster attack 27. I get 20 DP for that. So I did get 20 DP for it. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Hey, you're really good. Oh, I'm all out of LP. Oh, crap. I'm sorry, kid. I'm really sorry. Let's see. Is there anyone else here that's pretty interesting? Would you guys like to see me duel a main character, basically? Close enough to a main character? Might as well while it's dinner time. You must be the transfer student. My name's... I, I mean, I'm, I'm Blair. Everyone says I look like a girl, but I'm not. Do you know a guy named Zane? He's so cool, and he's good at dueling, too. I want to be just like him. Yeah, you and 90% of the class, kid. You and 90% of the class. Now duel me. Let's see how good you are. What's wrong, huh? You want to duel? All right. Oh, I like that she's ready. Oh, sorry. He's excited to duel. My apologies. Let's see what you got. I'm going to go with first. Yeah, going first is good. I do not win that rock, paper, scissors very often. So, Blair looks like she's ready to duel. I still haven't made any ch uh, true changes. Serene Silence is a good deck name for someone like her. I love that. I love that. Now that we can actually hear her voice, that adds an extra layer because she's clearly trying to hide her more female voice. That That's great. That's absolutely great. I don't know how strong her cards are, and I drew mostly Defender, so I'm going to get Nightmare... Pa not Nightmare. I'm going to get Crassdown set up. I was thinking Nightmare Penguin, though. Okay, good. 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 I like this. This is this is doable. Yeah, when they let my monster live, it's doable. I could also discard one card and return one monster in the field and then save my Crass, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go a little bit safe, then I'm going to flip Crass Clown, use Crass Clown's effect. Crass Clown has one of the best effects in the game. Yeah, because I could just keep doing it. And then I'm going to go ahead and attack for 1350. Okay, she's got no, or he's got no trap on me right now, so that's good. We're gonna end our turn there, and we're gonna see just how good he can duel. So try again. You know my monster has 1350 attack. Monster Seto. Yeah, you know what? You sound, uh, you sound just right. So let me get this Monster Gate. Okay. Well, I'm gonna flip Nightmare Penguin. The thing is, Nightmare Penguin does buff my Violent Rain, so I don't really want to Monster Gate it. And I kind of love Crass Clown, so I don't really want to Monster Gate it. Um, I'm going to activate Stim Pack. I wasn't planning to, but I think I have a pretty much set duel right now. So even though I don't want to Monster Gate, I won't yet. I'm actually going to put Crass Clown in defense mode, because why not reuse its effects since uh, he doesn't seem to have any cards to stop me. And then next turn I go for game, and it, it's, it's literally over. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna end my turn there. My Nightmare Penguin has as much attack as he does defense. 
And that's game. I got Blair into a loop of, oh crap, all I could do is set. You never got to use your card. Well, I could, I could just not do it anyway. Yeah, well, I'm going to do it with you instead of my back to square one, because I just want to show you how embarrassing this is. Uh, I'm going to normal summon Prickle Fairy. And then for fun, we're going to see if we can get one of our boss monsters with Monster Gate. We do run like four tributes, so there's a chance. Yeah! We got Orca! Alright, cool. It's getting a buff too, so that's really nice. Uh, Orca, go. 2300 damage. Ooh, she, oh, yeah, he did not like that. I'm not done yet! Yeah, don't worry, you are. Crass Clown, go! I'm gonna end it with one of my clowns, my only clown at the moment. <laughs> poor, poor freaking Blair. Uh, sorry about that, Blair. That is a shame. Didn't mean to do it to you. I love that we can hear it now. That's perfect. Oh, God. That is actually perfect. Okay. Victory shortest duel. 250. It took me 250, uh, 2 minutes and 50 seconds. Shortest turn. 7 turns. I'm getting money just for doing that. That is great. No way I lost. I must be having a bad day or something. See you later. Yep. See you later. Totally dude person. Appreciate you. Appreciate the money you give. But you know what? I've eaten, I've eaten my dinner and I'm a little tired. It's been a long day. So I think, I know it's taken me a while, but we're going to get to day two of our uh, Let's Play. So uh, pretty much every single day we're going to spend three, yeah, we're, we're going to spend three episodes. So that means we got a hundred and, oh, wait, three times 90. That's 270 episodes, right? Yeah, that's a, that's a long way to go before we get to part two of the game. This game has three parts for those of you that are new. Those of you that are not new, you know what that means. Uh, no, well, I don't know. Maybe I'll talk to Jaden. I'm not dueling Jaden. We already dueled the main character today. That's Blair. Huh, Cooper? It's been a while, huh? Oh, he seems to be in a bad mood. Uh, you love talking about duels, though. Yeah, well, oh, it's just okay. You had an okay talk. Not the best. Yeah, they seem to be in a bad mood. Let's, let's not deal with them. Um, I don't know if this will happen in this game, but in Beginning of Destiny, every time I would go to the Raw Yellow Dorm at the beginning of the day, I'd find Pharaoh. The cat? I want to see if I can. Doesn't look like it. Oh, look, it's perfect. Oh, well, doesn't matter. We'll, we'll go back there someday. Um, for now, let's go over to Duel Academy and let's go to the classroom. I think now is a good time to, uh, yeah, go to class. It's, it's pretty important after all, you know. They have this huge opportunity. This whole game is all about teaching you how to play Yu-Gi-Oh, right? We're at Duel Academy. So, maybe even give us some tips on Tag Duel since it's Tag Force. Let's start, kids. Take your seats. Huh? Professor, you dropped something. Ah, oh, that's... It's a picture of Atticus. How did that get there? I didn't know she was a fan of Atticus. She must be compensating for her old... Whoa. Bastion detention. <laughs> oh, if it wasn't so creepy, I'd be a little funnier. But no, Bastion game detention's always funny. All right, Akihiron, I'll take it. Bottom Dweller, I'll take it. They're not good, but I'll take it. Turtle Bird, uh, 1900's better than what I've seen. Sea King Dragon, there we go. That's something I'd run. Uh, oh, crap! Damien Draco slash, slash uh, Tetsuo Trudge's boss monster back in uh, a long time ago. Launcher Spider, cool monster. Goblin Seek Remedy, Hinotama. Fisher, okay, Fisher's legit good. Giant Trune, I think I already have it. It's limited. Jar Greed, Just Desserts is good. Reinforcements. Uh, yeah, some of those cards are very usable. Very, very usable. And the rest of them were terrible. Okay, avoid these people. They're scary. There's my clown guy. So, I think what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the volcano. I think the volcano will be a fun place to check out. So, we got this kid. We got that kid. There's a lot of kids I got to watch out for. Not touching the blue kid, that's for sure. Is there any kids up here? Raw yellow and obelisk blue. By the end of this Let's Play, we're going to know all their names and all their backstories, so get get ready. I think we'll try Green Kid. Hey, what's your name? Ha ha, look at my muscles, I'm all Varro. Scattering beads of sweat, Urgh, glistening through the air. Urgh. With all this muscle, who could ask for more? You must be Cooper, I've heard about you. You hear that the, the monthly test at the Academy? There's a written test that tests your knowledge. And, and a hands-on tool test that tests your skill. Why can't they include a physical fitness test? Yeah, where's Jim? 
Most duels are determined by strength alone anyway. You know what? You're not wrong. If you don't faint to raw, you might actually win duels. I won't lose. Time to lift some weights. Okay, Alvaro, the weightlifter. Can you guess what deck he uses? The answer is you're wrong. Alright, Alvaro, I'm gonna go ahead and use my... Ah, shit. Yay! Okay, Alvaro, we're cool. Musclehead Alvaro using his uh, Evolving Threat deck, which, if you uh, don't know what that means, get ready. It'd be funnier if he had a little muscle on him. I mean, Damon's in the game, so... It's not like it's impossible to put muscle on a child. So we're just gonna go ahead and put set and end turn. It looks like we're going the slow route to get Dark Magician. Fine by me, he's our boss monster after all. You really want to give me that field magic, don't you? Oh, it's because I know it's Evolving Threat deck. I know what he's trying to do. He won't pull it off, but I know what he's trying. You! Oh, you are making yourself real tanky. Even Dark Magician might struggle now. But if I draw something like this or something... Uh, you can't beat me in battle, so who cares? Well, I've set up my monsters now, and I just gotta be patient, and then eventually Dark Magician will be summoned. No new monsters? Then I'm fine with this. I'm gonna draw. And I'm going to summon the Dark Magician, because he's a cool card. Let's see how he reacts to that. Nothing? Okay. Well, since I like this situation, I'm gonna activate this card. And by activating this card, I'm going to kind of loop my opponent right now. Uh, we don't care what we do, do we get rid of? Yeah, let's just assume I wasn't going to beat that. We're going to salvage what we threw away. Because we might need that if we get Orca Whale. So let's get you and let's get you. Plus, I'm going to get real use out of that field spell for getting my boss monsters. So Dark Magician's already on the field. The ultimate wizard. In terms of attack and defense, of course. Until Cosmo Queen was invented, then, you know, he's kind of outmatched, but ignore that. Probably the strongest level 7 wizard. And no, don't talk about any new cards, just in the olden days. No effect monsters either. <laughs> Alright, we're going to play a giant red sea snake, and we're going to hope that even with 800 extra defense, I can get through it. Oh, you, dude, 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 I see... Yes, do you guys get his strategy now? I see what you're trying to do, but you're going to need Soul Resurrection for that to work. I don't know if it existed back in 2006. It probably did. Just, just good luck to you. And if not that, you need some sort of combo. Oh, uh, you really do need that. I'm not going to lie, you need that card back. Castle Walls was in your hand. Okay, kid, okay. I'm not going to judge. I know you're trying your absolute best, and I appreciate that. As a fellow duelist, I appreciate a person that tries. I'm going to summon Torpedo Fish. I'm going to activate the Stim Pack to guarantee... The only way I guarantee victory this turn is if this card can destroy this face down and then these two attack. So, yeah. Let's, let's risk it all for a win this turn. Nope, he's got a spell. Yeah, that's why he didn't set Castle Walls. Okay, well, I tried. I really wanted it, and I paid for it. Greed is uh, a hell of a thing. Belky Pawn is good. It'll get you more stuff. You need Cocoon of Evolution. Howling Insect is actually your best choice. I'm not going to lie. That was your best choice. The only problem is, um, if you summon it in attack mode to kill my Torpedo Fish, you'll pay a heavy cost. So don't do that. Okay, good job. You still lose the duel, but good job nonetheless. Oh yeah, this duel's over. So, Stim Pack will make sure my Dark Magician is strong enough, even if he had Reliable Guardian. At 3,000 attack, I go in. 21 is not enough. I forgot that he had Howling Insect. I don't know why I thought it'd be something else. This man's gonna stall me out. Alright. Alright. Well, you could do this all day, and I won't care. If I get my Orca Whale, I win. If I don't get my Orca Whale, I'll still find a way to win. Ooh, that could help me get my Orca Whale. So what we're going to do is we're going to summon you. We might get money for summoning five monsters. We're going to activate the Monster Gate, because we don't really need Umi. We're going to go ahead and use this to try and get the Orca. Oh, that works too. I didn't even think about that. That's smart. That is very smart. So, you, see if this is Petite, uh, Ma. No, they did get Cocoon of Evolution. Alright, we're changing plans. That's going back into the hand at the cost of our life points. 
It hurts a little bit, but uh, nothing we can't pay. You are going to slowly get through these howling insects. Eventually, we'll beat them all. You know, his defensive deck is working against me. If I didn't play so passively, I mean, so aggressively, I may have been in a better position, but I'm not right now. But one giant trunade to give me back my stim pack can change everything. One orca whale can change everything. I, there's plenty of ways to change this. A dust tornado can even change everything. A new trap card, though, is a little unsettling. Alright, stim pack's starting to work against us. Uh, well, actually not yet, but we're close. Close to the point where it just starts being a dick. So we're gonna find out if he's smart enough to pick, uh... Oh, I did not realize. That's gonna hurt. It's gonna be a very painful turn. This is just to make sure that he has to set, uh, the same card. Yeah, it's only 13, or 12, yeah, 1300 life points. I can pay that all day. And unless this guy, uh, like, I get it. His whole deck is perfectly Ultimate Great Moth. And he'll never pull that off, so you're just gonna have to take the hits. Okay, another trap. I swear to God, if you got another Reliable Guardian, then I'm going to start getting upset. I have a Dark Magician Girl, which is a little stronger. Dark Magician is actually losing power now, but he's still stronger than most of the stuff I have out here. We're not going to need Mother Grizzly. She is not strong enough to do anything to this guy, and I will stand by what I said. We're actually running out of time here. On... Oh my God. God damn it, that's the third Castle Walls. He already threw one away, so yeah, that's three. Oh, crap. My life points. Um, yeah, I don't like this. 1300 is fine for now, but another 13 and we're going down. Um, my Dark Magician will be strong enough, I hope. If not, I'm going to have to tribute him. Dust Tornado could save the day. So, yep. How much attack you got, Dark Magician? 22, that's just enough. All right, we have just enough attack to get over this defense. I think I hate this guy. <laughs> I, 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 I thought he was a joke character at first. Now he's starting to beat me. All right, you've used all of your back row. You feel like a big man now? Huh? I can't, I can't do my strat anymore. I have to wait patiently until I destroy all the spells and traps that are problematic. And if he plays any more, I'm going to be even more upset. Alright, heart cards, Orca. You know what? I could use a Sacred Phoenix. Dark Magician, you're still stronger than most, so I'm going to keep you. Uh, Hyper Hammerhead still has value, so I'm going to keep it. Sacred Phoenix, get out there. We are going to activate Dust Tornado, because we need them to drop in defense. 500 defense is just too big a buff. So, here we go. We're going to have Dark Magician destroy Howling Insect. We're going to find out what it gets. He wants Petite Moth, but it only works with the combo. Is that a Pinch Hopper? God damn it. This guy's got cards for days. Uh, Dark Magician Girl will go in. Destroy Pinch Hopper so we figure out what they're really trying to pull off. There's the Petite Moth. For this turn, you're going to destroy this. And you are going to destroy Cocoon of Evolution. What? Did he play me? Oh, there's no other insects. This is Cocoon of Evolution. He played me there. I have four beater monsters on the field. Well, Hyper's not, but still. I have got you. I don't care what anyone says. I freaking got you. My stim pack is seven in the wrong direction. I'm going in. You guarantee the death of the enemy. Close, but it did it. I'm going to end it with the Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl combo, just for fun. Alvaro, you were a real opponent, but 2,000 hurts. Oh, yeah. Once you see 2,000 damage, it's a different animation. There we go. That, that, you know what? Oh, well, I lost. Did not, that did not sound like that's what you said. All monster card zone bonus is $10. Destroying battle bonus, I did do a lot of that. Uh, max attack bonus, eh, that's alright, yeah. So it's basically the same idea. Yeah, it's basically the same idea. Plus, I got a lot of uh, money in that duel, so it ended up being worthwhile. Thanks for the money, kid. We're gonna go and go shopping. You guys love shopping, don't you? I have to actually be careful about how much I buy now, because we're starting to get less and less money. We're leveling up less and less. Excuse me, everybody. 
Hi, Dorothy. I would love some cards. What kind of cards do you have to offer today? Alright, Itashai. We have a Wave of the Future pack, which I don't know how I unlock this. But they're extremely expensive, but they do have futuristic cards. Uh, we are now in the Water of Life pack, which is really good for us, since we have a water deck currently. Um, I would like to still get some cool monsters, because I do like effect monsters. And then, because people in chat are saying, get spells and traps, and I'm going to try and appease them, I will get some spells and traps. Okay, one normal monster pack. It's just, I, I'm spending too much money. God damn it. It's, I want more. I just want more. Alright, Fungi of the Musk, Milk of the Four-Faced Beast, Jellyfish, Blocker, and eh, we already have United Wizards Resistance, uh, Spell Room Production, Order to Smash, Sage of Stone, I could actually run that. Cold Wave, okay. I wouldn't recommend running it, but I could. Block Attack, that card is legendary. It's one of the strongest cards in the game. Pinch Hopper, really good for Insect decks. That's actually a good pool. White Magical Hat, certain decks is actually can be pretty good. Another Hyper Hammerhead, good. I'm getting close to a Dino deck. Cost Down, eh, depends on what deck you're running. I could run it. This Frog, alright. Aqua Spirit, that's really good. Tadpole. BL's a frog, that's cool. Amphibian Beast. Unshaven Angler can be very good if there's like high level monsters. Deep Sea, Dawn Turtle, Creeping Doom, Weird Card, Serpentine. The new pack, okay, so there's Destiny Hero cards in this pack. There's Alien cards in this pack. And of course there's... HOLY SHIT! It's day three! This is literally like episode three of the Let's Play and I have a Chimera Tech. I have a Neos. On episode 3, that's also a good card. That's one of the Phantom Beast cards. Holy crap. So yeah, uh, Wave of the Future is literally a pack they made knowing what cards were going to be released in the future. And you get to, you actually get to play with them in this game. It's so cool. So going by Rarity. Oh, going by Rarity. Ultra Rare Chimera Tech. Ultra Rare Phantom Beast. Really good. Um, Cold Wave is really good. Block Attack is God Tier. Pinch Hopper is really good. And more Hyper Hammerheads are good. Aqua Spirit's good. Yeah, no, we got some really good cards for today. We're definitely going to be able to improve our deck. And I'm going to do my best to do that in uh, the next episode. So, if you're enjoying this Let's Play, please remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Bye bye